Hello, the one and only Xylophony here with another Ark Survival Evolved dossier. Now last week they didn't release a dossier, but I'm very happy to say this week we have a beautiful one. The Archaeopteryx. Now if you're a fan of dinosaurs, you've probably heard of this one before. It is one of the earliest bird-like creatures, so it'll be an amazing addition to Ark. But fun fact, this guy isn't that good of a flyer and he's not quite big enough to carry a human. So he's going to be interesting to see. Anyway, in the wild, approximately one meter long, the Archaeopteryx magnamilvum is a primarily tree-dwelling protobird. It avoids the ground as much as possible, preferring to stay in the safety of the trees, where few predators can reach it. So, this is going to be found in the trees. You'll be able to look up, see these guys kind of just perched there, chilling, and I assume that they'll go down quickly once you hit them with a couple trank arrows, but it will not be the easiest thing to tame just because of their positioning. Now it also says down here, I've not seen an Archaeopteryx outright fly yet, so it's possible that they can't generate enough lift to do more than glide long distances between perches. I'm not sure how a creature as fearful of the ground can be such a picky eater, but Archaeopteryx only seems to consume certain rare insect matter. The most likely explanation is that it tends to its nest in infested trees, stripping them bare of such resources. So it eats bugs, and it's very picky about the bugs it eats. Now when it does come into the game, there might be a separate bug resource, or you might just be able to, uh, you know, tame it with any sort of insect meat. Maybe that'll be a different resource by the time this guy's added. They have a lot more dinosaurs to add before considering this guy most likely. But it is continuing with the trend of dinosaurs being picky eaters. We have the Oviraptors who only eat eggs, which makes sense. The Bercoptodons, which only eat rare mushrooms, which is a little more strange. But this guy is only gonna eat insect meat. And it's gonna be, well, one of the more annoying tames and maybe not even a fully worthwhile tame. But, when domesticated, while not large enough to bear the full weight of an adult human, Archaeopteryx still has a great utility. Despite the creature's inability to fly, its wings have sufficient strength to dramatically slow the rate of a person's descent, if that person holds Archaeopteryx while airborne. Taming Archaeopteryx can be somewhat troublesome though, as it refuses to eat most common food sources and glides to prospective safety at the first sight of any interloper. Ooh, so this guy is going to be a living parachute. If you have one of these guys, I assume you can have him follow you around and if you need to jump off a tall cliff, there you go, you have your Archaeopteryx by your side. I don't know exactly why you would particularly use one when you could just carry a parachute around and bring a different tame, but it's still a cool feature that has not yet been implemented into the game. Definitely makes this guy very unique. Now, considering he's going to be so difficult to tame, even the dossier goes over those details, I really might not go for this guy right away. He is, you know, as a parachute, probably not the most useful thing. Maybe if he can ride on your shoulder, then he could be useful, but I don't think he's going to be able to. He's a little too big for that, but not big enough to be ridden. So, not the most useful of tames, but I've always had a special place in my heart for the Archaeopteryx. So, of course, you know, you guys know I'm going to actually get one, of course, just to have one. But, not the greatest of utilities. But, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Sorry if I'm not giving this guy the full love he deserves. But, hey, he's still really cool looking. So, leave a like if you've enjoyed this dossier. More will be coming soon. Check out the other Ark series, and I will see you next time.